Hello friends, welcome back to a new video on Karate series. Uh, so in this video, I'll show you how you can pass the variable from one feature file to another feature file. <clears throat> Let's say you want to pass the value of one particular variable to another feature file. So how to achieve that? And in case if there are many uh, variables, more than one variable, then how to do that? Also with different types of string, like uh, you can pass uh, strings, you can pass integers or any type. Okay. So also how to get the data or how to take the variable with the from the uh, past feature file. So those things we will see in this video. So let's go to the video. I've written a feature file uh, here. Uh, so here we are automating this test case. Uh, from the, um, the site which we have used in our uh, initial videos. So this is the API that I'm going to automate. Okay, so this one. And as you see, we can see a parameter over here. So we are passing a parameter page equal to two. Okay, when you pass uh, a parameter page equal to two, you will be able to see page equal to two. If suppose that the parameter is uh, three, then the page variable will be three okay so you can identify uh, you can take the value of page and you can check okay the parameter is correct i mean the api is working properly it's giving the proper output i've automated this test case okay i'm passing the parameter page equal to two and i'm just printing the response so i can give one more uh, condition so this is okay let me just run it and i'll show you Okay, so you can see the page equal to two. We'll just validate it, validate the output and match response dot page equal to equal to two. This line I'm giving because even if you don't pass any parameter, uh, it will give some response. So that's why I'm being, giving uh, a validation check over here. Okay, now oh, let's come to our topic. So now we have uh, hard coded everything in this feature file, right? The parameter page equal to two. So let's say I want to pass this parameter from another feature file. For that, let me just create a feature file, test two. So here, uh, what we can do here I'm calling that other feature file how to call call rid of test one dot feature and when you say test one dot feature and you can comment this you can ignore this for now and we can run it test two dot feature so even if you run test2.feature, it will call the test1.feature and will give you the same output, right? Yes, it is giving the same result. Now let's say we want to pass the parameter value from the test2 to test1. I've already shown a kind of this example in the uh, authentication video, but uh, many of you are asking me in the comment section like how to pass parameter from one feature to another. So I thought uh, I'll make a video on, on this. Okay, now what to do? Uh, we have to pass the page variable from the other one. So for that, how what you can do? You can just give uh, any name. You can give page also, I mean the same name also or any other name. Uh, I just gave page number, okay, and you can put a colon, and here you can pass the page value that is two. And now you want to take that here, right? So now instead of two, what you can do, you can remove this and you can add in this format. And inside this, you need to give this variable name that is page number. Okay. Now let's see if it works fine. If so, if it is working fine, we uh, we should get this assert true, right? Okay, there is some issue. JavaScript evolution failed. Two 
spectra now print but found still karate you should be more careful while writing each line because it won't throw any compilation error in the future file right you have to clearly uh, looking into the code deeply and then only you will get the error i mean the issue so here it is some uh, javascript evaluation uh, failed error so we should have we should be having some uh, syntax error so let me just look it okay we have to give a space after this okay and let's try it now yeah this time this is passed so be careful uh value under value uh, calling the feature file and but passing the parameter line okay so, so we got page equal to two only and when you pass page equal to three let's see if that works so the feature file should fail right because uh, it is actually asserting uh, response dot page equal to two but anyhow we are printing the response yeah the feature file is actually as three but expected two and we can see page equal to three so that means uh, uh, the parameter is taking the value from the test two dot feature only right and this can be applicable to any other uh, type like uh, here we have put codes right you can just simply give numbers as well that's not an issue if you want So you can pass any type of parameters according to your API requirement. Uh, now let's say you want to pass more than one parameters. Then how to achieve that? Let's say I want to pass email. So you can give it like this. So you can put a comma and you can add the uh, other uh, key value pair here. And same way here you can add a comma and you can uh, add this email and you can uh, call the same thing okay but uh, this uh, way of writing that uh, writing the separate block within this uh, in this format is actually useful when you have more than one variable because you have to write an because you have to write a json block and all right if you have more than one variable but in our first case we just saw it we have only one variable one parameter or one variable right we have only page so in that case it is not uh, mandatory that uh, to write this uh, json block in, uh, in instead you can simply uh, take the page number directly in the switch of it. i'll show you how to achieve it so you can just come and return this one and and params parameter so you know params is used to for when there is more than one parameter or when you uh, let's say you are writing in this way right this in block but if there is only one parameter okay so what you can how to achieve this so you can simply write the parameter uh, variable name as page right and param page equal to and now you can simply use this page number variable Let's see if that works or not. So it is uh, working fine and you can see page equal to 2 only. And if you print out the variable, okay, let me just uh, comment this uh, print line and let me print just page number. And you can see the variable name is getting variable value is getting printed over this particular line simply page number equal to two so this is how you can simply pass a variable from one feature file to another feature file also you can uh, even uh, use it in another way let me just give this is page number one and this is page number two and let me uncomment this one here we have written in a json block right so how you can use this one you can uh, instead of using page number so now you know uh, we have read, uh, stored it in a json block right so you can use parameters dot page as well to call page number you can use parameters dot page that case also we will get the same variable value see we got this and page number one and two are same right 
because we have printed the page number and then parameters dot page. Now let's say let's go to test two dot feature. Here uh, we know like we are according this value we are passing the value directly from the this call read file line. But let's say you have some other uh, variable. Uh, let me just give a uh, language uh, English. Okay, and now you want to pass this language only here. So in that case, if you pass it like this, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, we cannot pass page lang. This is just for testing purpose. We'll see if it works or not. Actual as one expected blue. Okay, uh, I'm commenting this assert line as well so that we'll get only page number one to printer, right? So you got uh, page number one and page number two as lang. What is lang? This is the, actually the variable name, right? Not the variable value. We are not getting n, we are getting only lang only. And okay, one thing uh, you should be wondering why uh, this status is 200, even though we are passing wrong we are parameter uh, variable. Uh, don't worry, uh, bother about that. Uh, even if the parameter is wrong, the API is giving some data and it is giving 200 response for only. So don't bother about that. Okay, we are concentrating only about our variable fields. Okay, so uh, to get this uh, correct variable name, uh, you have to pass it in this format. The same way that we have done here okay so for that put a single code and then hash and in the bracket you can give this variable name now let's run it is this time the test is passed and we got page number one and page number two as english right so this is how you can pass the parameter a pass the variable which is already defined in the feature file okay and if you have more than one parameter similar way you can put like after putting a comma you can pass it in a similar way now let's say i want to take the uh, some variable from the response response of test one dot feature to test two dot feature how to take that that we will see next so let me just give a proper uh, it should be two only right we should get two match response okay okay to avoid confusion i'll give a page only here it's a plan right let me just run it and confirm all are working Yes, it is working and let's, okay, now what I want, I want the page uh, field variable or uh, let's take some other field. Let me print out the response. I want to take the total pages in this response to, I want to pass it to test2.feature. So how to do that? For that, you can choose, you can write print this way, total page equal to so this my feature will have the output of this uh, test one dot feature okay and you need to get a response you have to put my feature dot response as well and then you can use this variable name don't simply put my feature dot dot pages it should be my feature dot response dot data pages right and now when you print out this data page you should be able to see two yes we got the output let's go to this data pages two so this is how you can pass a parameter from one feature to another feature and take the take some value from that called feature to this calling feature so now you have taken uh, one variable from the response of test1.feature, right? 
let's say now instead of this uh, variable from the response now let's say you want to take uh, some variable from the feature file only not from the response of the feature uh, okay so for that uh, let's just define some variable def. Um, I can give some email equal to uh, some value def data okay so to get this email value to this feature file uh, what we have to do so for that let's just print out my feature first what are the things we have written this uh, my feature let's run it So as you can see, we have this uh, my feature have this many data response time, response status, loop, URL, response type, all the uh, data that is corresponds to the test one dot feature is available in the my feature variable, right? And let's look for the variable email. If it is printed, yes, the email value, the email field is also uh, available in the my feature variable right so we can easily now call uh, this email field or we can say we can pass this email field from test 1 to test 2 by just uh, giving a dot so it is um, something like a json block only no so here we can see it is a json block only so we can call that by simply putting my feature dot email and here we can say email our test is passed and we'll see see we got the email result printed in our response so in this way you can pass the data you can pass the value variable value and uh, from one feature to another feature and in this way you can take the data from the other feature to this one right and this way of taking the data from the other feature file to another, uh, this feature file you can uh, use even if you are not passing any parameter okay so uh, let's all uh, comment out all these lines wherever it is required say from the so now we are not passing any parameter from test 2 to test 1. We are just taking the data from the test 1 now. So we will run it. Let's see. Page number is okay. Uh, so we are passing some parameter. This is for now. We go to 2. Yes, the test is passed and we are looking for email field, we got email field, right? So if you want to uh, get a variable from one feature file to another feature, if you want to pass from one feature to another feature file, you can put a line like this, just call rid of that uh, feature file name and so that would be the response, I mean the output of uh, all the data corresponds to that test one dot feature will be stored in the my feature and using that my feature reference you can access any variable or anything uh, from that test one dot feature okay so i hope you have liked this video so please don't forget to click the like button and we will see in our next video also please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet thanks for watching bye thank you